Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm doing the Adams Family, the 1991 version, um, with uh, Angelica Houston and Raul Gomez as Morticia and Gomez. Bloody hell, it was a great movie. I had forgotten how good it was. I, I had watched the, the new version, the animated version, and went, oh, I should watch the old one. You know, with, I think it's Christopher Lloyd playing, let me double check this. Yeah, Christopher Lloyd playing um, Fester slash Gordon. Uh, Christina Ricci is playing uh, Wednesday. And then Jimmy Workman is Pugsley. <coughs> And, I mean, it's, it's the Addams Family. It's a dark comedy, and it's great. I mean, this is going to be a short review, because, I mean... Well, I don't know. It might, might not be. It is a recommendation. I do recommend it highly. It's incredibly enjoyable. Like, all the... All the reviews and everything on IMDb, except for a few, are pretty high. And it is, I mean, it is a black comedy. I mean, it is a black, black comedy. I mean, relationships goals for me are to get in a relationship like Morticia and Gomez. That they just accept each other for exactly who they are. And that's it. And they enjoy themselves. Being dark. And the kids are dark. I mean, talk about sibling rivalry. It's like, holy crap, they're each trying to kill each other. That goes for the new one, too. But it's just, it's great. And I would highly recommend the sequel to this, which came out in 93. This came out in 91. The one in 93 is equally as funny. Uh, I would do it as a twofer. I would watch the first one and watch the second one. Uh, second one, they go to a camp. Uh, they send Wednesday and Pugsley to a camp. And, oh my God, it's so hilarious. Uh, what ends up happening at the camp? I mean, just what happens in general. I mean, there's this whole scene where they're doing... If your parents, which I would recommend, this is good for kids. I mean, yeah, you'll they'll enjoy it. They'll get a good laugh out of a lot of the stuff. But there's this whole scene, and as a parent, you have sat through productions of your kids where they get up on stage and they do their little play. I was about to say stupid little plays. They're stupid little plays. Uh, my daughter was heavy into the drama, and to she was heavy into drama and choir. Um, and I sat through many of them where I had to sit through other people's kids' stuff, which I didn't care about. And the looks on Morticia and Gomez's faces during it. I'm like, oh, I know that feeling. Oh my god, do I know that feeling. And then the re reaction of, of Fester slash Gordon um, running backstage and saying, no, here's the idea, take this. And they, they have their bloody... Thing, spraying blood everywhere. It's just like, I mean, if that was my kids, I would have been proud of them too. <laughs> but I'm a weird parent. But anyway, the whole the whole basis of the the whole plot of the Adams family is uh, it, it starts off basically Fester is not there. He's been missing for 25 years, and you get introduced uh, to his insur insurance. Salesman, realtor, I'm not quite sure what incarnation he is, to be honest. A lawyer, uh, which is Tully, and his wife, Margaret. And they have another um, customer uh, whose son looks exactly like Fester. Uh, you just need to shave his head, and you're good. Uh, and that's what the whole story is about, is them wanting to get the money, the lawyer, the wife, and um, the mother of the Fester lookalike called Gordon, are after the Adams' money. They have this huge vault underneath their house. And they come up with this idea of making Fester look like, or not Fester, make Gordon look like Fester. Uh, and that's the basis of the entire story, is... This Gordon slash Fester person trying to fit in with this family that is not a normal family at all. And slowly he, he's finding the stuff. He's like, yeah, no, I get this. I like this. I like this. And just that slow 
garage will burn, but the, at the same time, he's not remembering certain things. So everyone's getting very suspicious of him. So, and I love, I love the thing. The things, the CGI or whatever green screen thing they used for it, they did great on there. There is a couple of CGI, definitely 90s, early 90s CGI that you can tell, but it works. Because, I mean, it's 1991. Oh, and then there's It. God, It was my favorite in the TV show. I love when It showed up. It is just basically a walking thing of hair. And that's it. Uh, who else showed up? Oh, the, the, the twins, the Siamese twins showed up. Um, I can't remember who else shows up in it. I mean, Grandma's in it. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely. Let's go see. It is morbidly entertaining. It is. It's very entertaining. It's something I would definitely recommend for people. Let's see what the trivia is. Oh, Raul. Ra, it's Raul Julia. Sorry, I I did it wrong at the beginning. Um, he would get recognized, and he always loved. And it brought a smile to his face whenever he got uh, recognized. Sadly, he died shortly after the second one. Wow, the Adams, the house itself that they used was built for $100,000. Holy jeez. Wow, poor Angelica. She had to wear a metal corset to get her figure. She also had to get gauze eyelids, neck tucks, and fake nails daily. Holy jeez. Yeah, in the TV show, Fester was Morticia's uncle, not um, the brother to Gomez, which is in this show. Which is, I mean, it's different. It's a different take. Ah, I never knew that. Wednesday's, Wednesday's name is in reference to the line of Mother Goose poem that goes, Wednesday, Wednesday's child is full of woe. That is hilarious. I did not know that. A splash of tar from oh god yeah so at the beginning of the movie uh, you got Christmas carolers singing in front of the um, the house and they pan up slowly while you know doing the the opening titles and stuff and you see the family up there with a big giant thing of tar and they dump it on the people and for the rest of the movie you could see the marks from the tar on the front of the house which is actually I mean I can remember I didn't put the dots together. My god, I don't know how I didn't. But yeah, that, that's interesting. Um, there are several scenes referencing the original Charles Adams illustrations, most notably the introductory sequence where the Adams daily pours the cauldron of oil on the Christmas carolers, the passenger in Gomez's toy train, the octopus painted on the footboard of Wednesday's bed, and Pugsley with the road sign. Huh. Wednesday is one of Christina Ricci's uh, favorite characters that she's ever played. Oh, wow. By the time the movie was made, all of the adult cast members from the Addams Family had died, except for John Austin, who played Gomez. He also outlived um, Raul uh, Julia. Wow. Dang. Cher wanted to play the role. The car was a 1932 Packard Twin Six. Ah. 
Uh, Mercedes McNabb, who played the Girl Scout selling the cookies, also played Amanda Buckman in um, The Adams Family Values. I also think she was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I believe. I could be wrong. She played Harmony. I was right. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of fun, cute little trivia bits about this. Um, so, yeah, I would... Wow. Anthony Hopkins turned down the role of go Fuster. It does look like a, a Tim Burton-style movie, really, to be honest. And it isn't. Um, he was originally set to direct it, but he, he didn't, so, but it's, I wonder if the house is still there. Huh. I just, I just thought of that. I was just like, I wonder if that house is still there. And they do do the light bulb in the mouth with, uh, Fester. If you know anything about the original TV series, it was a it was a gag on that. Oh yeah, things wagon full of personal possessions are all hand related, like gloves, handwear themed catalogs, notebooks, and there was a Paul Mastery book. I remember seeing that. Oh, at the beginning of the movie, Gomez laments uh, that it's been 25 years since Fester disappeared. Uh, the Adams Family movie, 1991 one, was released 25 years after the version of the Adams Family TV series was canceled. Possibly implying that he left home after the show got canceled. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they took from the um, the cartoon series. Ooh, Kim Basinger was set to play Morticia? Oh, no. No. Not at all. Ooh, no. Uh, that's true. Many people have confused this film as being made by Tim Burton. But he actually had nothing to do with it. So yeah. <clears throat> it's a great little Halloween movie. Comedy. So I would definitely highly recommend it for anybody to watch. Um, and the second one, uh, The Adams Family Values, which I'm probably now going to punch up and watch. Um, it is on Google Play and YouTube and Prime Video for $2.99. Um, it is not free anywhere, to my knowledge. Let me double check. I want to check Netflix real fast. Just give me a second. No, you're playing stupid stuff. No, shut up. There you go. Uh, Adams. I didn't register that first. Nope, it's not on Netflix. Though it might be on Netflix in your particular country. I don't know. So, there you go. That's the Adams Family, uh, in a nutshell, the the fun of the movie. Um, go watch it. It's really fun. it's really fun and really enjoyable. So um, see you guys on the next Friday. Hopefully this time it'll actually be on Friday rather than Saturday. <clears throat> so see you guys next time. Just remember, comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can see whenever I update these. Ciao, ciao. I just came out weird. Ciao. <laughs>